What's up everyone? We're here in Carryville, Texas. We're going to this Ferguson. Uh, we got two stops, so first one, let's see, 30 miles per hour, we're gonna go right. Uh, the second stop's in San Antonio. About an hour. Thompson Drive is up right here. Oh man. Uh. Turn right on Junction Highway. Damn. Texas don't make nothing easy. Um, yeah, an hour from San Antonio. I uh, did a 34 at Charlotte uh, TC, which is Charlotte Pipe in Cedar City. Uh, the load wasn't ready. Uh, the plan was to go to Flagstaff. 434. Turn right at the traffic. Line. But by the time I strapped the load and everything, it would have been like seven or eight o'clock at night to get to Flagstaff, and that's a gamble I'm not taking because I only had about five or six hours to get to uh, Flagstaff. So if it was fall, I would have no hours to get anywhere. So I decided to stay at. The Loves and Cedar City for 34. And then Saturday and Sunday we drove all day to here, so. Make sure the car is coming. Alright, perfect. Um, and then also in New Mexico they had an hour and a half of construction, so I didn't get to where I wanted on Saturday either. So trying to get past Albuquerque and try to stay the night here. But it is what it is. We were only about two hours away anyways. It should be on the left. Let me try to get over here. This guy's not gonna let me do it, huh? Come on, guy. These people are nuts. All right. Look at the center divider. Ferguson sign. Oh, it's up as a road. In 500 feet, arrive at 2021 Junction oh, Highway. This guy. On the oh, the entrance could be that or the second one. Let me call these guys. I'm gonna do that. I'm going in that way. There's no way I'm backing in there. They're, they'll get me all fucked up if they think I'm gonna go in. Look at this road. Let's go. We'll just go in enough to get off the street. Hey, it's open. Oh, there's plenty of room to move around. It's not bad. Shit. How's it going? I just have that back. All that in the back is yours. Okay. I think it's uh, nine, nine skids. Okay. Do you want to pull up, uh, like kind of past that dumpster? Okay. So I can get on both sides. And okay. In the middle, past the dumpster? Yeah. Okay. Do you want the back past the dumpster or just my truck? The back. The back, back. past the dumpster? Oh, like you're right against that, that pipe in front of you. Okay, perfect. Right okay. All right, you guys, we're here at the O2. Uh, as you can see with this load, did pretty well. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot of straps, but we didn't realize, you guys, you saw in the video, uh, those loose pipes up there. So I could have took a strap off, put underneath it, but this was faster. And when I was up there, another prime driver helped me throw a strap to hold it in place. So at the end of the day, I was just like, two extra straps, who cares? Um, but this guy's actually doing pretty fast, doing pretty fast. 
we're gonna get to San Antonio, probably in some traffic. But we should be done by 10 or 11 o'clock today, so uh, I'm gonna get a new load. So uh, we're gonna get out of here. You guys see you on the next video. Okay, so as you guys can see, I put these loose pieces on top. It was right here in the middle. As you can see, they put it right in there. And then they thought that was gonna hold, so when I strapped it down, uh, it was already walking after I tightened the load and everything. So I used uh, those one inch straps to hold those together. Then I used this one right here for this bundle. So it's not going anywhere, but when you do show up pipe loads, you gotta check for these. <clears throat> What's up guys? We're here in San Antonio, dropping the second stop. It's 30 miles. School shouldn't be in. Uh, no traffic in San Antonio, so actually it's pretty easy. Um, so as you guys know, I go home every every other weekend, sometimes every week. So I should be able to get a load uh, that goes back home, which is pretty easy out here. Where I live, a lot of stuff in the Midwest Texas area um, transfers to like Wheatland Tube or it goes to... Um, uh, what's the other place called? Um, Atlas Tube and stuff like that, those kind of places. A lot of transfer loads. You can get those coils that like uh, we did to um, Atwater. So, these roads are tight. Um, so that's the plan. I told him I want to take a 34 home this week, so. Uh, all he asks is that I remind him because he is busy. He's got probably like 60 or 70 drivers. So. But if I'm in an area. If I'm in an area that I know we can get loads to California and I just took a 34 for the weekend, I'll ask him if I can pick up a load like that. Damn, look at that middle school. He's, it looks like a damn college. Man. Out here in Texas, these middle schools look like high schools and then the high schools look like a damn college. Really big. Go, guy. If you guys are from like the California Fontana area, you will get home pretty easy. weird thing about picking up from Charlotte Pipe in Cedar City is that there is a Charlotte Pipe in, I think it's Cameron or Camden, I think it's Cameron, Texas. And it's weird that they don't deliver this from there. I'm not complaining because of the money, but it's just, it's just weird. Should be right here, right by the school. It's weird. That is a school. There's the Ferguson. Yeah, this Ferguson's right by the damn school. Uh, I satellite this. Only one entrance here. Get out of the way. 
back room. Okay. It's just the half of a trailer. Wait, the first lane or what? Oh, yeah. It's not a full. Where you at? Over here. Oh. Over here to the right. Yeah. Right over there. Get you sweated over there. Where we can get you from both sides. Okay. So stay right here to the right of that trash can? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah. Okay. Is there any way we can get from both sides? Both sides? Okay. Yeah. All right. You can, you can probably even turn like if you want to, like if you're leaving. Okay. You can go around the, the, the container. Okay. All right. My leg is killing me. <laughs> oh. As you guys know, uh, when you go in somebody's yard, you don't want to go all the way in. You don't know their rules, like if they got their own stuff here. So I always try to like make sure some people can get out. And then I'm not blocking nobody. <clears throat> it's kind of one of those things that's Unless you've been been there before and you know, then do what you they they tell you. But I'll never just go in somebody's yard and just circle around and you know you don't want to block that truck. You don't want to block their. They have a system out here. So. Arriving at 19 Berwick Lane on the left. So we go back here. Watch everything you're doing. Okay. Always when you're turning, just always stay as close to the right as you can. Give yourself plenty of room. Okay, so you see how the trailer is? One, two. So I tie this up. He's taking the other one off. Hopefully it doesn't fall. He actually stuck this one. Okay, so this one. He's got it. A good knot in this thing. Okay. This one's mine. I get it out. It's pinching on this. So we're gonna do is put this back in. This is how they had it.
All right, so you guys can see, I was cleaning my floors. I was waiting for this guy. So I put these right here on the side. I have about four of these. I put my flashlight right on top. So I was cleaning my floors. I'm trying to get this. The truck is so dirty. This is all from like dirt, from CC and everywhere else. I can't seem to keep this floor clean. I've washed it twice a week. And so what I usually do is get this towel in here, try to get all this little dust out of here that's on here, you can see. It's very hard to clean this. I have a uh, air, air thing and it doesn't get it all out. So, floors are pretty clean. Use a Dawn soap, you see. Then I'll spray a little bit of 409 on it. All right, so we'll do a better cleaning. As you can see, I took this off. Just get the floors nice and clean. So the towels are already dirty with the soap and water. So with the 409, I get a paper towel and I'll spray this floor 409, which I'll show you guys here. I use this to brush it, the floors. So Dawn soap water, use a scrub daddy and look at the floor, it's nice and clean. And then uh, usually I throw these away, they're only like a dollar. I'll use them two or three times. So, so then what I do is take this 409 and I'll spray the floors like this, okay? Now I take this paper towel. See how there's still a lot of dirt? Get all in there. I would scrub the pedals. I'm gonna do it on my 34. This is just to get most of this dirt out of here. But usually what I do is scrub pedals I'll wash this because this gets really dirty with all the drinks. As you can see, get all of it. Okay. Nice and clean. Man, it smells good in here. Okay. That's just a quick wash. I'll usually go over there and wash everything. What's up everyone? So we just got unloaded. Uh, the load came in pretty quick. So it looks like he's pre-planned me on it. Uh, it's the same shotgun coil that I did a video maybe like two weeks ago, how to secure shotgun coils. Going to the same place, which is in Houston. It's about an hour and a half-ish to Houston, about two hours. Uh, it's going back to Atwater. It was that load where I went home and I called them if they can move the appointment to Tuesday and they're like, and I was going calling everybody and they're like, no, we need it. We need it. And to find out they didn't really need it. Cause then the forklift, uh, the guy that was unloading me pointed out all the coils. So they did have it. Um, but this is an open appointment. So that means they don't need it. <laughs> but, um, so the plan is to try to get to Houston, get this load quickly and get out of Houston before traffic. Uh, if there is any delays, say by 4, 3.34, I'm not out of there. I'm going to stay a night there. Uh, if you guys know Houston, if you're not out on that freeway by like 4 the latest, you're going to be in some crazy ass traffic. So that's going to be the plan. Um, I've got a lot of you guys' emails. I've told you guys before, if you're thinking about coming to Prime, email me. I'll send you my cell phone number. Um, you guys are with another company and just need help and you're brand new you know email me too I'll give you my number it's not a big deal I'm here to help no matter which company you work for and uh, if you guys use my code when you go to Prime I have a recruiter all he asks is that you send me a message to make sure he gets it so we're kind of working together so if you guys have any questions about coming to Prime I have sources in Springfield Salt Lake, and I'll have a recruiter. So I can do my best to help you guys get here. 
they're not hiring too much right now so if you do not get accepted uh, be patient freight slow right now and I know they're not hiring as much they're being very picky so if they do not accept it please reach out to me or call my recruiter it's in the it's in the description so I'll see you guys on the next video appreciate every single one of you guys stay safe peace out